Hello, Herman here with another episode in the ClearPass workshop series where we will build the ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with Wired Wireless, Active Directory, and much more. In the previous episode, we configured dynamic access lists, and of course, I copied all that from a prepared document and then uh, put it in the ClearPass so it worked. But as you can see in my current situation, I did some modifications, and you can see uh, the device is uh, yeah continuously authenticating on port 3 so let's have a look on the switch what is happening and go troubleshoot this problem so we can do a show port access clients on port 3 details and uh, what we see here is that the client status is rejected no vlan and I'm not sure if this is completely clear, but in most cases, this means that there is an error in the access list. So if you're doing dynamic access list and you get the message rejected, no VLAN on the port, uh, probably you are uh, having troubles with that uh, dynamic access list. So how can we troubleshoot that? So two nice commands here. So I have a debug destination session, which will bring all debugging information to my current running client so I can see the logs coming in while I'm uh, while I'm looking at the, uh, the the CLI and I can do a debug event which is in this case um, enough so let's do it and let's reconnect our client so I'm plugging off you can see the port is going offline plugging in uh, again and you can see it's doing uh, authentication and here it is we can see there is an acl error invalid keyword index 4 so let's see what are we pushing back so let's see here in the output we are pushing back the uh, dynamic acl internal only so let's check that one here and the number four in the uh, in the index that means that there is an error here in uh, line number four. So I did a permit IP uh, in IP from this to uh, port 80. And yeah, now we need to have the documentation. So again, in the Aruba switch access security guide, you can see the exact information. And in this case, um, yeah, where is the error is that we are permitting in IP and IP doesn't have a port number. So from the debug, we know it's in this line. And uh, yeah, basically what we can do here is uh, we can just change it. Uh, in this case, if we want to have uh, not IP, but make it TCP. So if we save that, let's go back to the switch. And we can see the port is now online and let's check again for the detailed so now we can see the uh, access lists are applied uh, yeah in the right way so it doesn't make sense here to have this behind the denial but yeah i just put it there to show you how to troubleshoot dynamic access lists so i hope this was useful for you um if it is Please like our videos, please put your comments also below this video and subscribe to our channel so you will be the first to know when there are new videos online. Thank you very much for watching.